What's up guys, it's Nick DMG, and I wanted to talk to you guys about four things. Uh, so first, before I get into the mesh and the two sticks, um, I know I was giving you guys some about, f oh, what was it, three minute videos, and they were ending without uh, me even knowing about it. Um, sometimes my camera would just say full. I mean, I record off my iPhone, I don't have a crazy camera yet. Uh, when I get something cool, like maybe a used GoPro, I'll start using that, or just some something else. I'm just really on a tight budget right now, so... I'm just going to have to use this. I know the shakiness kind of stinks, but oh well. Um, what I did realize is that a lot of you guys who do have iPhones, and if you guys do a lot of picture messaging, you know, sending people short videos or, you know, pictures of your lacrosse sticks to friends, I know I do it a lot. A lot of people send me in examples of what they want, and I'll make it, and I'll send it back out to them, and I'll look through all these random texts and you know, I was looking at my uh, iTunes the other day, and I was realizing why I can't record so much video. And it said that in my other category, it's lit up in yellow on your iTunes on the other. Uh, that's where it just says, you don't, you don't really even know what's there. I didn't know it was there. Basically, it saves every text message and everything that's on it. So if you go back in and delete every one of those picture messages and... Um, just delete the photos and the videos. I guarantee you'll free up a lot of space. I freed up two gigs on an eight gigabyte phone. So I think that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to leave it at that. So uh, you guys can go to town and do it if you want. Uh, and I'm guaranteeing you'll free up a lot of space on your uh, phone. Um, so yeah, other than that, uh, I picked up a Warrior Nose off Lax Monkey. Had some mixed reviews because this thing was absolutely horrendous when I got it. And I just don't like it. it's actually being sent back tomorrow it wasn't a good day for me because i have a broken toe and uh, you don't even want to see that so um it's hard getting around and kind of put weight on it but it's got these markings up at the top and the left and the right and i wasn't really impressed when i got it it was a sunny day and that's all you could see out in the sun i didn't even bother stringing it up um you know it was intended as a gift and see how you can see it lit up right now that's how much that that's what it looked like out in the sun um so I contacted Warrior, I contacted Lax Monkey. Lax Monkey actually sent me all of their pictures of all of the black ones that they had in stock that all look like this. Um, I was told that a lot of the blues and the dark color nozzles all are going to have the same effect because that's just the way it's molded. So if anybody does have a colored nozzle and doesn't care about some of the cosmetics, um, I'm just going to use it to face off and that's it. I suggest you buy one. If not, if you don't like this and you don't want to have this on your head, I suggest you buy a white nose and do not go with the black. It's, it has to do with the matte finish and how they put color onto the nose. So um, I would stay away from the darker colors and keep to the color uh, lighter ones like the Carolina and orange, which do not have this on it, um, and maybe the silver. Um, that's also another one, but sometimes a lot of stores are out of stock on it. So yeah, um, so that's it pretty much. Um, but uh, it's kind of weird. I does have another couple other minor things on it, but it's getting sent back. I actually uh, thought as a replacement, I'm like, well, I need a light stick to go on to this, uh, this gate ice because on the Hawk combo, it is just so ridiculously light. When I throw with this stick, um, even with the light mesh on it, uh, even with the, the mesh that I had on it before, I had a little bit more weight, it was just so, so light. And when the ball was in it, it, was, it got to the point where w if I didn't have the ball, uh, I couldn't even cradle it with my gloves on. I couldn't even cradle it without a hand on it. I mean, look, well, I'll even show you an example. It's with, with one hand going down a little bit far, I mean, you can, you know, this is just reverse. But if I, you know, choke up a little bit, you know, it's, you know, you get that little stall point because the, the stick is just, it's just so light um, up top. There's just no, you know, no balance. Um, but, it, it, I mean, it's great for, you know, maneuvering around and, you know, getting around traffic, um, and making those quick um, quick shots, and that's what I just absolutely love about that. So I'm going to get into this stick in a second, but um, I'm going to replace uh, this stick. I'm going to send it back. I already got it set up for a Clutch X Super Light. Uh, don't, I know you guys remember the Super Light series. Uh, they came out with the Clutch, X, the Clutch uh, Edge Super Light, the Evo Light, Evo Light X. Um, there was a huge debate on which one was actually the lightest, and... I actually weighed all of them when I was working in one of the retail stores, and I found that the Nas was actually not the lightest one. The lightest one was actually the Evo Light X, and second to that was the Clutch X Super Light. I thought that the X spec would weigh a little bit more, but it actually weighs a little bit less. Um, I thought more plastic. 
uh, being a little bit more wider would make it way more, but I guess I was wrong. So I think it would be a perfect match on that, although it doesn't come in black, the Clutch uh, Super Light Series. Oh well, maybe I'll dye it, who knows, and put it on that, because I wanted a black on black stick. Uh, I thought it looked really cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to bite on people. I looked at um, uh, Joe from Throwing a Strings, a uh, new weapon of choice. Uh, he was rocking one of the Maverick Metric heads, uh, one of the heads that I'm really not a fan of, only because of the scoop and just how it doesn't have that natural offset. I just don't like it. Uh, a lot of people, some people do, some people don't. It's just a preference for me, and... Um, it would have been nice to have that uh, put on there, but since that is a very, uh, I'm not going to say heavy stick, as I've been told, uh, it's up there into the, um, it, it, it is a little bit heavier than a Lakota U. So if you do uh, have a Lakota or Lakota U, uh, expect the Maverick metric to be a little bit heavier than that. Um, so matching it on a gate ice would not suffice. Uh, I liked it only for one reason, and one reason only is that the jewel in the middle had a little piece of silver, and I thought that just looked really cool. It just made the stick complete. So I thought um, when I get the Clutch X Super Light in, it has a little area in here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a cool uh, cutout of uh, the bottle cap design, and I'm just going to glue it straight on, and I think you guys are going to be really impressed. It's going to be a cool thing. It's going to tie into DMG a lot, and uh, I'm going to be rocking it all summer. Uh, so I think it'll look great. Um, so yeah, otter mesh. What else can I say about that? Uh, the stuff has been tr proven and proven again. It's every time I use it, I'm telling you, every time I go outside and shoot with it, it gets better. Better, better, better every time I do it. Um, for being a $40 piece of mesh, yeah, it's expensive. Um, but I guess if you're the type of guy that doesn't matter uh, about money, and if you you know, um, want just one piece of mesh, you've, you've tired of going through all kinds of pieces of meshes, and I know this kind of goes against DMG and a lot of other wax meshes, and, you know, maybe I'm going against my own business, and this might be bad to say, but I'm just going to give you my honest review. If, you, if you're tired of going through, you know, piece of mesh after piece of mesh, and you want to try, and you, you want to try something new that's going to last for a long time, grab a piece of this stuff, because it is going to. Uh, the more I break it in, it can take a pounding. I took it to the batting cages the other day, and that's how I break in some of the goalie strings that I do. It's a good trick to tell uh, some of your friends who are breaking in goalie sticks. So, uh, go into the batting cages, put 50 cents in, go into the uh, high-speed uh, pitching, and just put your stick right in front of where the baseball is going to throw. Uh, just catch it with your lacrosse stick and just throw it back on the ground and just catch the rest of the balls and just put another 50 cents in good way to break in uh, any type of stick. Um, you can do it on player sticks, you just got to be careful. I mean, I'm not going to catch 90 mile an hour shots, but I wanted to test it. So I actually was in the range of, I think, 75 to 80 miles an hour, and it took a few tries for me to catch it uh, with the mesh. And afterwards, I looked at the pocket after catching 10 shots, and I, was, uh, I had a lacrosse ball on me. And um, afterwards, I did some wall ball, and it threw exactly the same. I thought it was going to bag out or it was going to break one of the sidewalls, and it didn't. Um, so that'll just tell you something about the reload technology that they have with the composite injection in here. I mean, this stuff is, you know, even though it's very flexy, it'll mold right back. Um, it's one complete, very light stick. They're not on the market yet. The prototypes are still out there. I'd be very uh, curious to see what uh, the model is uh, that's going to be going out. Um, this type of shooter setup is just something that I originally put on just for you know, just for test purposes. I've tried some use. I didn't really like it, um, as I felt it had too much snag on it. Um, I tried three straights. I didn't really like that. I wanted the top nylons to give me some kick, and the two uh, straights to give me some uh, vertical hold. So um, I did a new pattern. I, I usually had the pocket uh, lying right up top, but it was bagging too much. Uh, and this, since this mesh, this otter stuff, being thinner, uh, it's actually about 17 millimeter size. A little bit bigger than the uh, standard strinking uh, mesh, even though it is a strinking product. Um, so what I did is I tied the first hole uh, on the head, and it doesn't really accommodate for uh, four strings, but I made it uh, just by wiggling in. So I did the top string on the first hole, the second hole, I tied it around, skipped two holes, did a knot, skipped two holes again, did another knot. So I'm passing that big bulge. I skipped one more hole, did an SI, and then I did a stacked SI which is people would just call me crazy. But that is actually where I got my pocket. Um, 
skip two holes in a lock, skip one hole, a one, and then a tie-off, and I always do the bottom string with the sidewall uh, that I use. Uh, I don't use a separate piece. I believe this is a more efficient way to string lacrosse sticks, and if you can get into the habit of it, why not do it? Uh, it just ties it all in. If you have to make any quick adjustments, just undo the bottom strings, uh, refix the sidewalls, just tighten off the bottom string again. You don't have to end up looking for that bottom string on the ground saying, oh, I lost it. So uh, it ends up working out well. But this pocket is pretty cool. It shifts up, shifts down, uh, bags nice, um, not to the point where it's too baggy, but um, it's going to be great. And I think uh, once, um, you know, I find, uh, I put the clutch super light on that, it uh, will be uh, definitely uh, my sonar stick. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm on a tight budget right now, so I do have some things uh, for sale. Um, I have a pretty much brand new white Lakota. It's in the other room. Uh, I've shown it to you guys on a few different videos. If you guys are interested in it, let me know. And I, uh, you can send me an email, dmg 180 at gmail.com, and I will give you a price quote if you want it unstrung or strung. Uh, unstrung, I'd be looking for about 65 to 70 bucks. Strung up, uh, about 75 um, to 80 uh, depending on the mesh you want on it. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't really have much else to say um, other than, um, yeah, that's it. So uh, hopefully you guys have a good day. Enjoy it. Uh, definitely not enjoying the weather we're having up in New England. It's been very rainy, but that's not going to keep me from going outside and playing on the net. So <laughs> talk to you guys soon. Got to go downstairs and make some more mesh. So talk to you guys long. Peace.